Capital World Markets offered a managed investment fund, which promised 5% interest to investors per month. City of London police say this was a Ponzi scheme, meaning returns are paid out, but are fraudulently made up of money from other investors. It's unsustainable, and like a pack of cards, will eventually collapse. Well, this investigation's been running since October 2014. It was March last year that the City of London Police first issued a request for Gurkhas or members of the Nepalese community who'd invested in the scheme to come forward. These police investigators uncovered paperwork suggesting around 450 people from the Gurkha or Nepalese UK community had invested in the scheme. But the number who've come forward is disappointing. So far, it's as little as five. So it's little as just over 1% of potential victims have come forward, uh, which is um, a bit of a concern. I am in a position where I, don't, I do not believe it's going to prevent the case going forward, but it seems to be that those people, their stories, the harm it's caused to them, the harm to the individuals, their family, uh, we've been reassured and told that actually the money they earn in the UK, some goes back to their families in Nepal. Is, so the harm is far-reaching and not just for those serving or that have previously served in the UK. The police believe there are many reasons why investors haven't made themselves known. I think one during the, uh, the earthquake, which happened immediately after we um, executed our warrants. Second is probably a bit of denial and a perceived shame. And what we've learnt is that the shame could actually be passed down the line for generations. Um, and that is something that we've really found difficult to deal with. And thirdly, there's obviously a bit of denial or blissfully unaware that they have actually been a victim of crime. City of London Police are working with the Gurkha Welfare Trust in an effort to trace further victims, many of whom detectives think could have been introduced to the scheme by close friends or family. If you've introduced family and friends, then we are not looking at you as somebody that's, say, suspect. If you've done so honestly, with no dishonest intentions, then we would like you to be part of the case as a witness. To date, 14 people have been arrested and bailed in relation to this alleged fraud. This is being billed as the last opportunity for potential victims of fraud to come forward. Soon the police say they'll be moving into the next phase, which is preparing for court. Tim Cooper, Forces News, the City of London.